Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Adam, and today we're playing part number three of Layers of Fear. I hope you all are enjoying the series so far. It's definitely a lot of fun, and I can't wait to continue playing the game. So we're going to keep moving forward, I think. So we're going to make our way through this door. Form emerges. Forward and seeing what we can unearth from this game. There's chains on this door. I wonder if that'll open later on. Does this door open? It does. And there's a piano in here. With a painting. Jesus! That's pretty creepy. That got me. I'm not gonna lie. That got me. <laughs> Right. After that cheeky little jump scare, we're going to keep moving on with this scary game. Trying to fill up that painting canvas and find out what's going on, I guess. What's going on with this creator's block? Oh. Well, that's not good, is it? We're stuck in a square room. Is there a way out? I don't know how I feel about long, dark corridors. Oh, there's going to be something here. I know there is. Oh, just got to go through. Just got to go through with it. Oh, it's put... It's going to be so tense. Is that a babe? Oh, that's pretty grim. There's a key around its neck. Oh. Can I close you in? Yeah, you can. I don't want to. I don't want to look at that. Oh god. Oh god. My blood pressure is going to be through the roof. How do I? How do I get out of here? It's by the look. Oh. Stop. Stop this. Stop this. Come on, Adam. Get a grip, mate. Get a grip. What are you? A man or a mouse? I'm not sure what I am at the moment. I need to keep checking these chest of drawers, don't I? September 15th. More notes today. Even worse than before. The sad part is I agree with every word. Close that in. Agree about what? I guess it's something we'll find out as the game goes. As the game goes. Oh, back here again. Is that door still chained up? No, it's open now. There's a lot of books falling out of this room. They've got a big collection of books, I'm not going to lie. I guess they weren't entertained by all the reading they were doing then. Obviously. Hmm. Is that the way we're supposed to go? Do I need to check other places first? So I have a look in here. One of these days, something's going to jump out of there and absolutely do me in. There's a singular, singular stool. There we go. What is this? Oh, there's going to be jump scares, isn't there? Oh, what? Oh. Oh, we can. Ugly. Ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted you, fucking pleb. Me, I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. My God, someone is definitely angry. I'm not gonna lie, his voice made me jump. The shouting. Such a loud man. What a loud man. All right, onwards. Onwards, my friends. These guys have got their own library, basically, with all the books they've got. Basically, own own a library. Oh, hello. Well, was that always there? I guess we've got no choice but to go down it. Oh my god, something's going to happen, isn't it? It's... 
I thought it was Stonehenge originally, but then I realised this game's like probably made in America, so they probably won't know what Stonehenge is. That's an old Scottish landmark for anyone who's wondering if anyone's bothered. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Are these noises in reverse, or is that just me? What is this? This, so uh, if I'm to be honest, I can't see how I was expected. Numerous colleagues informed me that he previously saw that advice. <sighs> Suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as freakish grin or unnerving yelp could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. Was there a fire or something? Oh, we're just running in circles here. Oh, wait. The sound's flipped. It's the right way around. I do have to just keep walking around this square. What's that voice saying? Jesus Christ, man. Are we below that floor now? Have we gone a floor down? I don't know what's going on. I am very confused and not quite knowing what's happening. We're still seeing these paintings everywhere, aren't we? Do we have to answer the phone? Why would it be ringing otherwise? Oh, it stopped. Oh, we've reached another the corridor. Well, oh dear. Restless memories and there's blood on the floor. Oh! What the hell was that? <laughs> Freak me out so much. Oh, don't open the door again. Please don't open the door again. Oh my god, this is a scary game. If anyone likes horror games, I certainly recommend playing. Oh, the room's upside down. Light switch. There we go, see? I know my stuff. I know my horror games. Light switches don't just turn on lights by the looks of it. Well, I also know to explore these little... There's going to be something in one of these one day. Something that's like valuable to the story or something. Or will help me out. Anything in here? No, just documents. Nothing in there either. We'll close that up. <laughs> oh. Nah, I don't care about that. Just setting off people's OCD. <laughs> What's going on? Oh god, what's going on? Why is there a man there? I have got goosebumps all over my arm. Why is that curtain glitching out like that? <laughs> Oh dear. Oh my god, the deer's fallen off the wall. You okay, sir? I don't think he looks in the right shape. This guy likes his deers, doesn't he? He's got a good few of them on, on his the walls of his rooms. Hope is the mind killer. I'm not sure what that statement means. I don't think I agree with that. Looks like we're going for another little elevator trip, by the looks of it. Can I close that, please? Close. There we go. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Down we go, lads. Down we go. Off to the lower floors, so I can prepare myself for what's ahead. 
Let's have a look at this cheeky note, shall we? In any case, sorry, my mother just walked in. Bless her, she got me a nice little cup of tea. But in my little Doctor Who mug. I'm still a child at heart, but, you know, we love it. We absolutely love it. Cheers, Mum. Uh, uh, court case. We can use it to our advantage, portraying you as the victim. So something's happened here because the wife has got severe burns or something, and now he's in a court case. Husband in mourning. Did the wife die at some point? Why would he be in mourning if, if his wife wasn't dead? It only makes sense that, that she must be. What is this? I'm have to go through this way, I presume. This is a very narrow passageway. There's rats everywhere. Oh, God. These guys have got a rat problem, haven't they? A rat problem. Oh, the music's building up again. Is there anything in here first? The bathroom has been wrecked. That bath is quite disgusting. Why is there a baby in the bathtub? I don't think that's normal. Is there a child involved? I'm not sure. What is going on? The toilet still doesn't flush. Your plumbing is terrible. But we move. We move. This way, boys. It's alright. I know I'm safe. I'm very safe. Something's gonna happen soon. It's been too long since we had the last jump scare. No. Door's locked. Of course it is. One door's locked. So is that one? Are they all going to be locked? Yeah, they're all locked. Don't know what the light. I don't know what the light switches do, and I don't really want to find out. Oh, well, that's not helpful. Brick wall. Another brick wall. Is this going to be a brick wall as well? Yep, it's a brick wall. Whenever I see a, uh, a long and illuminated dark tunnel in a horror game, it's usually a, a message not to go down it. But as you can see, we have no other option. So we're going to have to face our fears. So, yep, yeah, still no option. And walk down this long corridor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. And now there's a basement as well. Of course there is. Of course there's a basement. Why is there a basement? Why is there a basement? I can't see anything down here. I tried to look for a light switch, but I couldn't find one. Something terrible is going to happen very soon, I, I expect. And it's going to scare me. Is there anything around here that I need to have a look at, possibly? Anything to collect? No. I will just double check everything. Just in case there's something I end up missing. There's another piano again. Why is the furniture now floating? What is wrong with this man's house? There's got to be some secrets down there, surely. There's not going to be an empty bait, like an empty basement down there for no reason, is there? <laughs> well, it turns out it might just be an empty basement. I was wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Oh 
thank God. Why is it making us go into the basement and to just walk out of it again? It's way too creepy. Yep. My my goosebumps are going again. There's going to be something up here. Oh. oh, it's locked. Why is it locked? How do I get out of here? I love playing horror games, but they put me on edge. Oh, what's that? What is that? Hello? Hello? I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. This dude's got issues. Uses parts of humans as paint, doesn't he? Oh god. I take it it'll take us back to the um the paint room. A good old paint room. We will we will add our new uh, new ingredient to the canvas and go from there. <laughs> I have to recap. Actually, I haven't played. I, this is like my second recording session, so I'll have to uh, have a look what we've got so far. All right, let's add this bad boy on. Hmm. What is that? I can't even tell what it is anymore. I thought it was some. It looked like some scorpions or some something like that. But now it looks like a... It looks like a person. Almost. That looks like the head. And that's a chin. And this looks like the... I don't know. I don't know. So we added this to the uh, the bone. Oh my god. As if that... Is that canvas made out of skin? Mm. That's gross. And then he used blood as the paint. Which he siphoned out himself. That's locked. Bloody hell. Well, <laughs> what if you fail? Well, we don't plan to fail, do we? So, on that optimism, uh, I'm going to end the uh, the episode here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. If you're enjoying this uh, Loads of Fear Walks, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more horror games like this. But yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.